So I'm now I'm going to turn it over to you. Does anybody have any questions here in the audience? I'll do this one and then that one. Yes. Okay, Two-parter. Two As choreographer, is it Chris's final decision of who stays in the show and who's out? Do you mean like as in hiring and firing? <laughs> well, generally we do quite an exhaustive audition process where we, we try and get it as right as we possibly can. And sometimes that's not necessarily just about someone being the best person in the room. You try and get a sense of like how they are as a person and also how, they, how their work ethic is. But once they're on the project, um, we t I can't actually recall a time when we actually let anybody go up to at this point. I don't think I've ever done a job where I've had to like fire anybody because we we try and be very selective in the process up to that point. Um, I think that essentially probably I w if I had if there was someone in a production that I wasn't keen on that wasn't pulling their weight, I then it, it, sh any production is such a collaboration. There's the director, there's the musical director, there's the producer. It, it, it would end up being a kind of a, okay, what do we all think here? Yeah. Because they're not great for me, but the director, they're like the best actor they have. So I'd probably do something where I'd like, okay, well, I might take them out of that number. But the getting rid of someone and like ditching them is a quite a big deal. And that doesn't happen very often at all. So. Right. Did you have a second? Is is the Muni stage the largest stage he's ever worked on? And if so, does he have to alter the steps? Do they have to be different for our stage? Yes and yes. Um, generally, I mean, the, Muni, the Muni stage is ginormous. It's like double the width of anything I've ever worked on, probably. Yeah. Um, we normally have numbers across the front of the stage so we can help with spacing. Um, and um, I think it goes like 40 to 40, 80 feet wide or something yeah. crazy. Actually, as you're walking out tonight, you'll see the numbers on the floor over there. Yeah. I think I've worked at um, Radio City Musical putting on TV shows, um, and that's pretty big, but it's not this, is it? No. No. It's no. probably like two thirds or something. I don't know. But, um, but generally, with, um, with this stage, the steps and everything, we, we, we need to fit the house. So yes, we need to make it subtle things don't work as well. It's not like if you're doing something where an audience is uh, all the audience are within 10 rows of you you can do something really subtle that everyone's going to appreciate. We have to think of the, fifth, the full 15,000. So we do um, make things as broad as possible but sometimes we can do things by adding people or like moving the step around or moving formations around too. Um, with the, all the Jerome Robbins choreography, it's the same steps, but uh, just trying to be broader and bolder with everything. Right. Right. Yes. The question is, when he's teaching, uh, as a choreographer, do you use sort of the four wall method of this is home and one, two, three, four? Um, I, um, I would say on 90% of the shows I do, I like them not to be presentational. So I like to, to not do things out front as much. If you're doing something like 42nd Street, and you've got big tap numbers, it's, it's a big razzle dazzle show. Or if you have a show within a show, everything could be out front. Um, I, I like things to be, if, especially if you're partnering, about the intensity between the partners. And if you come and see West Side Story, sometimes you'll see people bounce off each other when, when they dance because it's about us being a group or a gang. So rather than us all being out front and solo, it's about us being a, a community. When we, um, when we teach stuff, we obviously know where front is. Um, and I will talk about stage left, this is the direction we're looking, or this is stage right or up. Um, not being American, I never use home. <laughs> you mean home plates, right? <laughs> home, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we obviously, yeah, we have, I'll use, I'll actually use eight directions. I'll use downstage, downstage right, stage right, 
upstage right, upstage, upstage left, stage left, downstage left. So we can talk about all those quadrants about where you're facing at a particular time. But you'll see, um, particularly even with this West Side Story, sometimes it's done in lines, particularly dance at the gym, it's done very straight. Whereas for me, dance at the gym is a dance at the gym. It's couples banging into each other. It's, it, it is what it is. So it's kind of like I'm trying to mess it up and have people facing all different directions. You know, there's not much in West Side Story that's really presentational. And if it is out front, it's just so you can see their joy rather than being like at you with kind of like a razzle-dazzle.